Hey, it's me. Where's my thing at? Oh, here it is. Oops, got to do it. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Hey, let me tell you something. Look, uh, in a past job I had, I was uh, I'm sort of weirdly revered. <laughs> I like the word revered in my past job because uh, my defining job, let's put it this way, I actually had other defining jobs, but this is a defining job that people know about. It's, been, it's not a defining job that uh, that I know about, it's that people, other people know about. Right? That was us director for WBI Radio in New York, uh, the Pacifica Radio Station in New York. And what people really didn't understand is that, actually, I put my resume, man, because we had so much bad um, arts directors that I just said, look, if they get, if they, we gotta get another dog, oh, sorry, they gotta at least beat me on on paper. You know what I mean? On my CV. Okay, I'm still drinking my uh, my vodka and, and uh, papaya juice. So if this goes starts to go down in a deep dive, you know what I mean? It's still halfway between this little tirade or this little you know talk, then you'll know it's because of what's this vodka? Vendenka, whatever. I can't speak Russian, but it's a Russian vodka, you know. So it's, it's authentic, you know what I mean. And I got a little, and I I put some. Oh, this is mangoes just. Where's the where's the where's the? Oh, the papaya blend is in the refrigerator. Anyway, that's why it would go off the rails. Anyway, but the point is this. So I'm looking at this stuff, and people say, "Oh, like for instance, like Cuomo's a a great, you know, a, a great whatever leader, you know what I mean." I'm looking at these people and say, you don't understand. Let me go back to my defining point as the arts director of WBI. Right? When I put my thing, I just wanted the person to beat me, right? They couldn't beat me for some strange reason. They, they, I became arts director of WBI. Right? Now, here's the thing. The first thing I told, told the, 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 the station manager, I said, hey, look, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not into this thing. you got to send me some management classes or some management symposiums or some, some management whatever, you know what I mean? She didn't do it, of course, you know. But what I did do is I treated everything just like it was, um, how do you say, uh, a play. You know what I mean? I, I can't explain it. I mean, I mean it, it, let me put it this way. When you had things like um, like a politician, you know, like a, a president, you know, a governor, you know, whatever, some, some kind of politician like that, um, is no different than a, a director on a movie set, right? It's no different than a, a, a small city mayor. All you're really doing, you're managing. Okay? So my secret, let me tell everybody my little secret when I became arts director, because I didn't have the skills, to, I, I, didn't have, I didn't have the things that I think I needed to, my, my thing of, of, a, of, a, of a, you know, a, what do you call arts director or whatever have you, was sort of really different than what people normally think because I came from a theater background. I'm, a, I'm used to stage managing, so I, I treat I, I, I treated like a play. Like, like, that's what I did. I, I treated like a play. And I gave people roles to do, and if they did it, they did it. If they didn't, they didn't, whatever you know. So what I'm trying to say is that a mayor of a city, just like a, a film director, just like a, they're all they're all managers, okay. When you're a manager, it's like it's, it's your film director. You, you think of it like a large city that you're working with at the time, but especially if it's a really big film, right? Everybody's coming to you for advice, whatever. and you gotta you gotta basically yay or nay their 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 their, their point of view, their their advice. You see, so when you have someone like Cuomo, you say, oh Cuomo is blah blah because he has he has a gravitas. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I use a big word. Don't worry about that point. He has a lineage, you know what I mean. You know, his daddy was uh, was was the governor or whatever he was, the senator, whatever the, what his daddy was. His brothers on media, you know, he he's the governor, you know. And so everybody thinks he's doing a great job. Well, no, I'm just saying he's doing his job. He's managing. You know, he's going to experts and putting them and saying, "Hey, look, the experts told me." And then he's re he because you trust him because you he when you want him to be your leader. <laughs> your president, you know, then what happens is you, you, everything he says, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. He's act, he's acting, you know, that way. So I'm, I'm good with that, you know, but all he's doing is doing his job. Okay. And managers are managers. Leaders are something else. Malcolm X, that's a leader. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going against all kinds of grains and da, 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 da. 
eventually, you know, Martin Luther King, that's a leader. You know, I'm going to mean that's not saying white people because, I mean, black people because then, you know, you white people get alienated. Oh, who cares about you white people? You, you, you're stupid anyway. You know, you, you follow them idiots. You know what I mean? You follow people like Hitler and stuff like that. You're still doing Hitler documents. That, you're still doing the Hitler doctrines. That's what I meant to say. Yes, you are. You know you are. Anyway, back to the point. Here's the thing. The point, the real point I really want to make is just that uh, what happens is a leader is a is is not it's not a, it's not a manager. It's a different thing. A leader is something else. You know, a leader will say, "Hey, look, we need to do this to accomplish this, or to accomplish that. We need to do this to accomplish that." A manager just manages the situation. You know, like I said, a film director is is is, is just like a politician. Well, they got to soothe some egos, whatever, and they got to do some other things. And that they got to manipulate people and that and get them to do you. And that's that's fine and dandy. That's good, fine, great. But that's not a leader. That's we need leadership right now. People are going to go out and like like, like this whole uh, Bernie Sanders debacle. You know what I mean? This boy won't lead nothing. He's he's, he's not gangster enough. Bernie Sanders not gangster enough. He just He's just an old white man. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I, I stop. I stop. I'm be good. Okay. I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm good for a second. So what I'm, tra- all I'm trying to say is that we really need leadership in this kind of situation. We don't need, you know, managers. I'm a manager. I can manage anything. You put them in front of me, I can manage it. So I can man. I can manage the, 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 the I, I can manage it to the nth degree. You know, but leadership takes something else, you know, some vision, some whatever, whatever, whatever. And we're not getting that. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, everybody do the Cuomo. Only because, you know, when you have such elite, when you have so many politicians that are, how do you say, not qualified, that are, how do we say, uh, just the, the worst you can get. Then when somebody just rises a little bit above the mediocrity, you say, oh, our savior. <laughs> No, that's not what we need. You know what I mean? The, the, the current, all the whole current political class, okay, there might be a few that they, they get through, but all of them, they're not good for you. They really aren't. You know, what you read, you, you we need to look to ourselves to find out the real leadership. And then if it makes sense, only if it makes sense, I'm going to tell like, 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 like common sense, this real sense, when it makes real sense, then you go. Because you, you'll you feel it. You It'll be on every level. It, it won't just be on just the mental level. It won't just be on, on the physical level. It won't, just, it will be on the, the spiritual level. It'll be on every single level. It will make sense and you can go with it. Trust your instincts. That's what I'm saying. Trust your instincts. Your instincts are correct. That's just a short message from me, T. One person taking the chances to bed, letting you know what I only expect from an undisclosed location here in New York City, the, uh, one of the many epicenters. <laughs>